This morning I'm starting my elephant ears. I have a container. I have a coffee filter and I'm just going to place the coffee filter down inside of my pot. Did I mention that these are the pots I mentioned earlier uh, in a video that one of the big box stores had um, a clearance so the containers were only five cents. But what I'm going to do, this is my elephant ear. This is what it looks like. It comes in a package like this. And I'm just going to temporarily put these in a container that I will transplant outside after my frost date, which is April the 20th. So let's get started. This is what the bulb look like. In actuality, it is a a tuber, but because the packaging says bulb, we're going to go with that. Um, you place the elephant ear tuber or bulb in a pot um, with potting mixture. I already have potting mixture in here. And the roots come from the blunt side. So you want to place it in the container this side up. Okay, and if you're ever not for sure what side is up on your bulbs, tubers, plant them on their side. They'll find the light. So we're going to just place these down inside of the container. I have two containers that already have um, potting mix. I'm going to add some more to my third container. And what you want to do is because the bulb is asleep right now, you just want to cover the bulb up, blunt side down, place it inside of a potting mix, and then just cover it up. Now, once you do that, you want to give it a thorough drench of water. No fertilizer at this point. Once it is placed in my garden in its final container for the summer, then I'll start giving it um, either worm castings or a water soluble fertilizer. But right now I'm just trying to wake up the, uh, the bulb. Now you also wanna make sure that you have your labels in so you know exactly what you're growing. That's the elephant ears. I'm starting them today. And I'm going to put these under my grow lights, but um, at a later time, I'll take them outside to the garden and um, continue to allow them to grow inside of my, uh, I have a container that I'm going to put these in. Now, last year I started the bulbs in a container and they did well. I have a picture on Instagram, uh, of the bulb and the plant, it uh, triple in size. I had a picture of my hand and the leaves from the elephant ear, and it was like three size my hand. So it gives you the tropical feel. And that was in my container, but there also was a bulb that I placed in the ground, similar to the size that you see here, but it, it doubled in size. I dug that up, it's already in um, my garage, uh, I stored it for the for the winter months, but I'll bring that out at a later date and I'll just place that back in the ground where it grew. Gives you that island feel, which I really do miss. We usually go to uh, St. Thomas every year, but because of our pandemic, we haven't been able to do that. But this is how you start your your elephant ears, you wake them up. They are a sun-loving plant. They do say that it tolerates wetness. So you can, if you have a bog area that you're not for, for sure if the plants will thrive, the elephant ears don't mind their feet being a little wet. Now they won't grow until, or you won't see any growth until the temperature is at least 65 Fahrenheit. So you want to keep that in mind, but just give them a water and at a later time, 
Um, this is March the 3rd. So it'll be about another month before you actually see some growth if you start them inside. You're just giving yourself a little head start on growing your elephant ears, but they will stay um, in this container until a later time. And I'll give you an update um, when I transplant them outside. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.